Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, it's good to have you here. Uh, if you don't have a beverage, you should probably get one. I think every event we're throwing between now and the 3rd of November is a happy hour. So just go ahead and grab a beverage. I see you, Mary. Do you have a beverage? Great. Oh, she does. Okay, excellent. It looks like it's water and she's out. All right, um, just a little Zoom housekeeping for those of you who are just joining the Zoom game. Uh, if you can open up your chat windows at the bottom, that is where we'll be posting links in the chat during this event. And uh, you can also post questions. So you can also uh, tap on your reactions button and you can give a thumbs up if you're approving of anything that Jason says or myself, because I chime in periodically. Um, or you can just use that chat window on the on the right hand side of your screen to type a question if you have it. We have people behind the scenes who will feed those questions to me and I will ask them to Jason and we'll get through as many of them as we can. So without further ado, I would like to introduce you to the founder of Field Team 6, who has not had a haircut in a while, Jason Berlin. Hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it, it varies, man. That's a lot of forehead. I'm just lucky to have any hair left at all after these four years. Um, <laughs> Great to see you all here. Joe Jordan, no one can beat your beard, although you're disappearing behind that rainbow green screen. Oh, there you are. There you are. <laughs> awesome. Great to see you, Mary, Deb, Verla. We have uh, a small enough crowd. It's like a, it's like a, a cafe concert. Um, uh, awesome. Thank you for being here at the final official Field Team Six strategy briefing of the election cycle. Didn't know we were going to have one, but things have been moving so fast and changing so much. We thought this would be a good idea. So thank you so much for coming to this. Um, just uh, as a as to, to do our mission statement at the beginning. Field Team Six, as you know is here to register Democrats and save the world. Of course, the people who are doing the world saving are the voters we register, who are about 75% women, young people, people of color. Um, Field Team Six was born out of the two years before the midterms that culminated in us uh, helping to flip all of Orange County and helping to flip the house. What makes us unique among voter registration organizations is that we're proudly partisan. Um, and that, that gives us in the, uh, the edge, you know, we, we get people's attention. Um, we also love and respect our volunteers more than any other organization out there. Fun is one of our core values. What we do should be inspiring because it's, it's empowering other human beings. So if we're doing it right, it's going to be fun and inspiring. Um, we also have creative solutions to intractable problems. And we are also here to stay, unlike campaigns in the Democratic Party who register voters, you know, sometimes before an election a little bit, maybe. <laughs> um, where we've been, what we've achieved, and just a, just a brief recap. Um, in the toughest imaginable circumstances, with no other national organization doing partisan voter registration, we did and continue to do the toughest work there is in the places where the margins will be tightest. Uh, we pivoted to being, being an all digital organization under COVID and thrived against high odds. Uh, we built Voterizer, our own custom app for registering Democrats, which has been a huge success. Yay, Mary. Uh, it's co-brandable. <laughs> so we share, we can share our, the voter data with the groups who use it. And we now have 18 partners. 18 partners. 18 partners, that's, that's huge and expanding all the time. Um, and if, if someone could drop the link in the chat for voterizer.org and how the link for where to partner, that'd be great. Um, we have started leading tweet storms and actually gotten really good at it and reached tens of millions of people. Um, 24 million alone in the, the tweet storm that launched Voterizer. We produced and released over 40 videos. And uh, if you could drop that link in the chat too, please, that'd be great. We've uh, been part of a Shepherd Ferry poster campaign in multiple states. We've held countless text parties, 10 maybe. I can't count to 10, that's countless to me. Uh, featuring famous authors, the cast of Star Trek, the cast of Scandal, the cast of Big Bang Theory today, 
It's insane to me. <laughs> Musicians from the Bangles and the Decemberists and REM and our most passionate new super volunteer who's an award-winning author of the incendiaries, Reese Kwan, known as R.O. Kwan. Uh, she wrote a beautiful essay about her experience leading text banks with us That's that was just published in Elle magazine. Um, if, you could, if someone could drop that in the chat too, that thank you so much, awesome. Um, all of which has now added up to this. We have at this moment registered 28,693 progressive voters across our battleground states. What? That's yeah, almost 30,000. That is, you know, Michigan fell to Trump in 2016 by uh, just over 10,000. So this is almost three Michigans. These are in the places that need it most, including Arizona, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Iowa, Maine, Michigan, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Wisconsin. And just recently, we were able to add Montana and Alabama. Um, we have called almost 80,000 eligible voters. We have emailed and sent social media ads to millions. And we have sent almost 10 million texts to eligible voters. Um, that's amazing. That's, I'm, I'm so proud of that. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was two weeks, maybe three weeks ago when Jason and I were fantasizing about how we could do 50,000 texts in a day. And then three days later, we were doing over 100,000 a day. And then it just kept going from there. So it, it got a little crazy. Sorry about that. <laughs> and it still is going crazy. And the, the, the lists of voters that we've acquired to, to text and, and call, um, that, that, that's the reason that this has been effective. Uh, and, and we're super proud of these lists. We started with one list. If you remember, uh, we started with the public college student list. And, and thought that we would only be able to raise enough money to, to fully contact that list. We ended up by texting literally every likely Democrat that every major data vendor could find. That's insane. We basically went to the edge of the map uh, as far as like the da data that you can get for unregistered voters in these states. Um, so on the way here, we've texted public college students, purged voters, college educated women, Black women, black men, the Latinx community, pro-marriage equality voters, and pro-choice voters, likely Democratic activists, and even possible Trump defectors, which that's a challenge. That, those are fun people to interact with, you know? But that's, that's how brave you are, you know, all our, our leaders and volunteers. Um, we don't wanna leave anybody on the table. So that's what we've done. That brings us to the current moment. Seven days out. That's insane. I never, uh, I never thought we'd get here. <laughs> um, so here's the plan for the final week. We have our final text banks of this cycle, our final text parties, I should say. They are uh, tomorrow, the 28th, from 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific, Trick or Treat for Democracy. We're having a whole bunch of, of great thriller writers together and they talk about texting and their writing and just just life and the insane responses they're getting from uh, Trump supporters during the text bang. <laughs> and it's super fun. And uh, you get trained and then you get to be a fly on the wall and just kind of hang out with them in the Zoom room while texting. Um, so that'll be super fun. And then the following day is our final text party. It's a get out the vote party with Shonda Rhimes, who is the... Uh, the creator of Grey's Anatomy, and then Scandal more recently, as well as Private Practice, as well as How to Get Away with Murder. Um, and uh, that will be amazing. So she's gonna be there Thursday uh, from 3.30 to 5 p.m. Pacific. We have that dropped in the chat too, awesome. So please join us for that. And in addition to those budget allowing, please stay tuned for text drops every day from tomorrow until the election. Um, generally, they, uh, it's, it's, we call it dynamic texting. Basically, if you have been trained before, just check out our Slack channel about noon Pacific on any given day. And um, we are hoping that every day or the great majority of days between now and the election, um, there will be some texting to do, additional texting. And this will be to uh, registered Democrats to 
um, have them sign a commit to vote pledge, make a plan to vote, and uh, to forward that ask to their three best Democratic friends as well. So to commit to vote if, if they haven't already, because uh, that's happening. Right. People are turning out like crazy. And more people playing. have, what was it? More people have voted already than voted for Hillary Clinton in 2016? Yes, that's right. That's pretty that's, cool. It's insane turnout. And insane turnout, especially among the people that we're targeting. Not that we're responsible for all of that, but a little bit, a little bit. And it, it also just speaks to... Um, uh, good targeting, you know, but young people have been turning out like crazy. They're turning out at 20 times the rate they did in 2016 in North Carolina, for example. In other states, it's five times and 10 times the, the, the turnout. Um, for young people specifically, they, uh, they could change everything alone. So um, yeah, super exciting. Um, we dropped a link in the chat also to donate to help us keep texting. We are leaving it all in the fields. We are spending everything that, you know, saving a little bit so we can survive for just a little, just two to three just, months afterwards. Just long enough to raise more money. <laughs> long enough to raise more money to survive. Um, but because this is the existential election, um, we're leaving it all in the fields. So, so yes. Um, and they're also our final events of the cycle coming up. And those are tomorrow night, 6 to 7.30 p.m. Pacific Vote Fest 2020 is a, a film festival uh, that's hosted by uh, Mo Collins, the hilarious guy from Mad TV and Parks and Rec, who is uh, hosting this event um, that features videos by Jack Black and Dana Gould and Patricia Clarkson, Puddles Pity Party. Uh, some just some really good creative things that have come out of these last couple of years. Um, on election day, we're having an event, a real life, a rare real life event for anyone who is not in a vulnerable population um, and who lives in a swing state or can get to one. It's polling place vote tripling. Um, so there's a training for that this Thursday, October 29th, 4 to 5 p.m. Pacific. Um, it's just a one hour training, but basically you, you already know what it is from hearing it. You go to a polling place, um, and masked up, you're masked up, they're masked up, you're masked up. Exactly. Everybody's masked up. Exactly. No mask, no ask. You don't talk to anyone who's not wearing a mask and you're wearing a mask. Um, and, um, uh, ask anyone, you know, as they come out of the, the, the polling place, if they can, you know, you can be wearing a partisan shirt if you like, or not up to you, but you can ask them if they can get three Biden-Harris voters out right now, just if they can text three of their friends. And it's been shown to be a really effective thing to do. People are, have kind of a post-vote glow when they come out of the polling place and they're-, they're Yeah, they, re they refer to it as a civic high. Civic high. <laughs> it's awesome. That is that's, one of my- That's where I went to high school. <laughs> um, and- uh, that night, election night, we are having a Zoom watch party. Uh, it starts at 5 p.m. Pacific. It's an informal party. Please show up. I will be there. Yay, Mary. Awesome. Thank you. Um, I will, uh, I'll be there uh, at least once an hour for a few minutes. I, and I may just be, may just need you to digitally hold me, you know, while I, uh, while I cry with whatever, you know, uh, of the many emotions <laughs> I'm going to be feeling that night. Um, it should be great. There should be a news feed on one, in one room. There would be breakout rooms that you can enter or leave at will. There'll be like, a, you know, a, a, a digital chill space, you know, with like some relaxing music where you can just talk to other people. Um, it'll be fun. And uh, Sarah Jekyll, our uh, most inspiring human being alive and our national outreach director, the director, <laughs> will also be speaking um, at least once, if not twice, um, during the night. And there is one more thing, one more event that we are holding that is um, uh, I, I'm very proud of. It's, it's actually not a, an official Field Team 6 event, although some of the geniuses behind it um, are part of Field Team 6 steering committee, and, you know, including Dale Roy Robinson on this call, Patty Crane, uh, I don't believe is on this call, but um, 
was was one of the masterminds of this. We're uh, calling it the Tally Rally, and what this is is a uh, a plan to prevent a coup. So acknowledging the fact that Trump sows chaos and that he has been not just not just implying but literally telling us that he's going to try to um, just 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 uh, derail the vote, derail the ballot count and get the election brought into the courts where he can control it. Um, we can't allow that to happen. So on election night, the results may be called. That's what we're all praying for with every fiber of our beings. But in the spirit of hoping for the best and preparing for the worst, um, we have this plan. So the tally rally is a uh, uh, a concrete plan to de deter a coup before it even starts. It's a new nonpartisan initiative asking citizens nationwide to ensure their county elections official counts every ballot by staging rallies outside their office um, starting on the 2nd and 3rd, November 2nd, and then election day, November 3rd. Um, and if uh, you, you can't get to a, a swing state or you want to do this you know, or or, um, or you just want to do this virtually, you can join our social media storm that will also be going on uh, on these days and raise awareness of this. That's also super important. You don't have to be a social media expert at all. You can just have a Facebook account or a Twitter account, Instagram account, and post something on there. And we have ready-made posts to make it super easy. So yes, we're, we are um, asking people to Go to tallyrally.org, which is up now. Sign up for a morning or afternoon shift. We're having them November 2nd and Tuesday, November 3rd. And if necessary, in the crucial days or weeks after the election as well. We're asking folks to show up outdoors and on social media, carrying positive signs that say something like count every vote, every vote counts, wearing patriotic costumes, making sidewalk chalk art, um, and snapping selfies. So all you do is go to that site, tallyrally.org, enter your state and county. And we have uh, all the battleground states listed there right now. We're adding some more states, but we have the great majority in there already. Um, and um, you will get an email when you sign up with the address of your county elections official, some fun ideas for signs and costumes. You know, don't let a costume be a barrier, but just if you want to, you can and a link to some ready-made social media posts. You actually do not have to sign up to get the link to social media posts. So, you know, if you can't go, you can still go through the first screen and you get to where, you know, you can link to social media. Um, so let me, let me actually share this right now, this, uh, this one sheet, Tally Rally one sheet that explains everything. The website itself also is uh, it's self-explanatory. So if you don't have or lose this one sheet, you can still participate just by going to tallyrally.org. Um, let me scroll down. Yes. There you have it. I just want to give you a second to look at that. Um, and, and the plan is that uh, if the election is not called uh, November 3rd, then we will probably extend the dates and we will continue our tally rallies for November 4th and 5th and however long it takes until the election is called and certified. That's right. This is uncharacteristically um, for something that we're joining um, nonpartisan. It's nonpartisan because that's the point of this. Um, anyone, any nonpartisan organization can can join it. Um, this even any Republicans who are just on team democracy, lowercase d, can join this. This is just about having a fair ballot count, you know, counting every single vote, not getting that derailed like happened in 2000 in Florida. Um, there is also a seven minute video that uh, Patty Crane and Dale have put together um, and, and, and some other people too as well. Michelle Manire Fowl, I think was part of that. Uh, it's 10 things you need to know to stop a coup and it is super 
powerful, moving, and and helpful. So um, can we? Can I drop this? Uh, I can drop this one sheet in the chat, right? Should I'm be able to. Right now. You try and stop me. Oh, gotta let it go to everyone. Hang on one second. Um, so yes, hopefully these uh, plans beyond the third are not necessary, but just in case we have a plan for that. Um, so when the election is called, whether it is election night as we hope, or sometime after that, immediately um, there will be a dance marathon alternating with a sleep marathon. That's, um, that's nothing that you can take part in. That's just private. That's my life. You know, uh, you, can, <laughs> you can join me remotely if you like, though. Um, and then what? And then what? Many people have said, so is uh, Field Team 6 just over then? No, we're not. Then we keep fighting. This is just starting to get fun. You know, this is our black belts beating Trump. So we do not go away after each election like the party does and like campaigns do. Part of why we founded Field Team 6 was so that we could register Democrats all year, every year, no more off years. So like the A-team, except for far more women, we will continue to go wherever we're needed, flipping districts and states and defeating Republicans all over the country um, to make this a more progressive America. So in November and December, we'll be reassessing the new map, depending on what happens in seven days and uh, picking new targets. But I can give you some previews. So in 2022, if we win the White House and Senate, there's always a backlash against whichever party is in power and we must not lose the house. So we have to protect our house majority. Um, there are also six Senate pickup opportunities. We can defy what usually happens in history and, uh, and actually win in the Senate. There's six Senate opportunities, um, of Republican seats that we can flip, including Ron Johnson from Wisconsin. Ooh, that would be great. Pat Toomey in Pennsylvania and Marco Rubio in Florida. Lil Marco. Oh, that'd be so good. Uh, in addition to the, that federal focus that we will continue to have that we've had since the beginning, we'll also be expanding to some down ballot races, which is exciting, including key gubernatorial. And uh, that's a, just a great word to say whenever you get the chance, gubernatorial and big cities uh, mayoral races, where we can make uh, an outsized difference and help build democratic infrastructure. Also, in early 2021, we're going to be leading a push in key states to make sure districts are redrawn without gerrymandering, because that's exactly when the district lines are going to be redrawn. So we'll have a, a, a key moment to put pressure on uh, very focused places and and see if we can uh, ensure fairness in, in redrawing district lines. So there's so many great battles ahead where building progressive power will help fight racial injustice and this pandemic, fight the climate crisis and so many more things that we've woken up to this last four years that we, we can't go back to sleep about. Um, and we can't do any of this without you. So Thank you to, to all of you. Thank you to every single volunteer who attends even one event. You're the beating heart of this organization. And you are the reason why in seven long days, we're gonna to topple a tyrant and take back our democracy. All right, any questions you got? I'm ready, I'm ready for it. All right, <clears throat> I've got some questions here that I've been collecting as we've gone. Um, so uh, J.B. Jordan Jr. asks, is the storm going all the time now? That's a very metaphysical question. I, I think that's I think that's about the, the social storming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is in my heart. Uh, we are actually having a. Um, yes, I can, answer, I can answer that if you if you want me to. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we, we've got we've got storms that are happening uh, tomorrow, uh, Wednesday. We are having we we have them going every Wednesday and Friday, or we have for the last few weeks. So, tomorrow's there's one, uh, Friday there's one, and then Saturday there's one. 
and we have different campaigns that are going on. Uh, there's a, if you go to the website, uh, fieldteam6.org, you go to actions. At the very bottom of that actions pull down menu, you can see different uh, campaigns that we have going on for social storming. There's one called It's on the Ballot. Uh, there's one called uh, October Voter. And there will soon be one called Tally Rally. So uh, the, the Tally Rally assets are still being built, but uh, by tomorrow, we're gonna have that up and running. And uh, for, for Wednesday and Friday, it will be all three of those. And Saturday, it will go to uh, It's on the Ballot and Tally Rally only. And then th there'll be ones added after that. If, you, if you're not already on the Field Team Slack channel and you would like to be, uh, that's a great way to connect with people who are doing social storming. Um, just ask in the in the chat and events will hook you up with getting an access to the field team six slack channel. That was a lot of words. Um, they went well together, though. Um, we were uh, at Rachel is asking, are you part of the coalition with protect the results? We are. We are a partner in that coalition. We're also a partner um, with the fight back table, which is another um, slightly lower profile, but seemingly uh, uh, it just it packs, it packs a punch, the fight back table. Um, and so, yeah, we're trying to expand this as far as we can. This um, nonpartisan tally rally effort, we're just getting it out there and hoping that we get as many, as many organizations and volunteers taking part as possible. We have 1,000 counties um, to target. Uh, in the something like 10, 10 to 12 target states that are on there now. So we don't have to hit them all. A lot of them, there will be no problem in, but what, wherever we can apply pressure, great. And uh, it doesn't take a lot of people either. It does not need to be a massive crowd. In fact, we're cutting off the shift at a maximum of 20. Um, that alone can make a huge difference. Registrars, uh, you know, elections officials, they're not used to seeing anyone outside their office. So if there's four people there, it's things are different, you know, and these, these won't be angry rioters, you know, <laughs> these are just people uh, like us just standing out there pleasantly holding signs about count every ballot, things like that. Um, it's a very patriotic thing to do. We're supporting them in their, in their, their legit ballot counting. Um, I have a two part question and it's from two different people. Um, but it's both about uh, Tally Rally. Uh, the first question, first part of the question is from Gwen. And she says, is this information going out by email to all those who have been on phone and text banks? So I take that to mean, is, is this information getting out to our volunteers? And the second part of this is from Mary. Uh, and she has asked us a couple of questions, a couple of times. So I, I wanna make sure that we answer that. Can we use phone and text bank lists for Tally Rally? Take it away. Uh, can we use phone and tech bank lists for tally rally? I'll do that one first. Um, um, we could, but those are our lists are mainly to eligible voters. So they're kind of at the beginning end of the, the, the activism spectrum. We kind of want people more like our volunteers. Um, so we absolutely, so to answer the other question, we absolutely will be doing uh, an email blast out to all our volunteers and phone bank leaders and text bank leaders and, and uh, everyone who's participated in events to let them know about this. Um, we are very conscious not to take anyone away from GOTV efforts on the second and third uh, to the very last minute. As you know, GOTV will be cranking and, uh, and getting people to the polls and that is the number one most important work. Um, but the number two most important, and it doesn't take that many people you know, uh, 20 maximum in each county. Uh, if you're done voting, you're done doing your GOTV and you want to take an afternoon shift in front of your county registrar um, to hang out, meet some other volunteers, masked up. Um, that's, that's great. That's what we're encouraging. All right, this is from Jody. Uh, given so many people voting early in person, any thoughts on vote tripling now before election day? Yes, absolutely. That is what we will be doing in the uh, in the texting that we're doing from now till the election is uh, the the voter. We're, we're texting 
reliable democratic voters who actually have a high activism score. That's one thing that Target Smart, one of our data vendors, uh, gives us a rating for. And um, so we're we are reaching out to them to ask, you know, if they have uh, voted yet, you know, if they and if not, to make a voting plan themselves. If they already have, um, please send to three send, send this commit to vote site where you can make a plan to vote to three other Democratic friends. So absolutely, we're trying to we're trying to do that right now and multiply Democrats' power like that. Yeah, I just uh, I just have some news in uh, for the Vote Fest short film festival that's happening tomorrow night. If somebody can dig that link out and put it in the chat again, um, I just have word that um, there is a surprise guest that is coming to that event. Uh, people, what's that? Who is it? I'm going to tell them because because they're on this call, so they get the inside the inside scoop. Um, it's going to be Adam Schiff is going to be uh, surprising us at the at the vote fest. So, um, so show up, people. Give uh, Adam Schiff some love because um, he's given us some love. So that's super exciting. Vote fest is in the is in the chat right now. Um, Gwen asks, I have email lists of those who have been on phone banks to call purged voters. I would like to send this info about tally rally. I'm assuming to to them. Um, Gwen, I'm assuming that you're talking about the volunteers that you worked with on those, right? Maybe you can chat that answer just to clarify. If you're still here. Yes, that is what she's talking about. Um, yeah, as far as volunteers go, and as far as other partner organizations go, this information can get far and wide. We would like this to get to as many people and as many organizations who have volunteers to, to, to partner up and send their volunteers to these election officials' offices on these days that we're holding these rallies. So the more you can share that, the better. And if you have connections to people that are in the battleground states, that is the key because this is a physical in-person masked up event. Um, and yes, we'll be doing social storming during these events, um, which people can do from anywhere, but the key is getting some real people with real signs and real outfits out to the real places as well. Mm -hmm. All right, um, I think we are getting down to the last questions. Um, Rachel asks, I'm in Massachusetts. Can I make phone calls, send emails to the election counters? Uh, um, we're, we're actually, uh, one thing I heard that made sense is that we should probably discourage people from um, directly calling, making a lot of calls to the registrar since they're using those phone lines to, um, to cure ballots and do things like that. Um, but you could use we that. Don't, we don't, yeah, we don't want to distract them from what they're doing. In fact, one of the suggested signs that we're, we're suggesting to people to, to take to these rallies is don't distract him or don't distract her. They're counting. Um, so even though we, we do want to make a presence and we do want there to be a positive uh, pressure to counteract the pressure that will be coming from somebody orange uh, to stop counting, we don't want it to interfere with the work that they're doing. Right, but Rachel, you're great. And what you can do in that time instead is social media, you know, just posting. We'll have um, a whole bunch of beautiful pre-made posts that you can put on Facebook, um, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, whatever you're, you know, whatever you prefer or all three, and that, that helps a huge amount. All right, so, so uh, la last question is from Mary. Will there be a tally rally in Maine? Those of us in Massachusetts, Rachel and I could go there. Um, at this point, we are not including Maine. The, the information that we've been given on Maine is that Maine is not in question whether they are going to count all of their votes. And so we feel like we wanna, we wanna concentrate on states where that is still in question. Um, so uh, Maine is not one of the, the states that is in the pull down menu from tallyrally.org, but, uh, but that, that doesn't mean that we can't still use you on the social media storms, or if you want to drive to Florida. Or just, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Or Pennsylvania. Yeah, there you go. Um, awesome. Awesome asking about Maine, though. We got to get Maine. We have to get Sarah Gideon in. Um, mm. and, and that woman who shall not be named out. 
racist. Oh my God. She's the worst. I don't care if she voted against Amy Barrett. That means nothing. Too little, too late. You're out. You can That's sit right. somewhere else, but we need that seat. Um, All right, bring us home, Jason. Okay, let's <laughs> take it home. So uh, we're seven days out. Here's what you can do. I think, let me know if these have already been dropped in the chat, but you can sign up for a tally rally at tallyrally.org. You can sign up for the election night watch party. You can sign up for the um, election day vote tripling. Um, if you have an idea for a fundraiser you'd like to throw in the weeks after the election, you can help us continue the fights because we can't stop, won't stop. You can contact our events team at events at fieldteam6.org for that. If you'd like to give more, contact, that's wonderful. Um, you can contact Yvette at fieldteam6.org for that. She's our wonderful finance director. That's, that's why you're contacting her. That's right. Thank you. She's the best. Um, and she's in, she's in Nashville. So she's, uh, she just helped out with the last debate, actually, in Nashville. So we've got one week left. It's finally here. I, I, I never thought it would get here. I feel like I've died multiple times on the way here. I'm sure we've all died a whole bunch of times getting here. Um, Winston Churchill said, if you're going through hell, keep going. We have gone through hell and we did keep going. I can't believe how much we've lost in the last four years. And I, what I never could have predicted is how much we've gained. Now I'm not just talking about the 20 pounds. Um, <laughs> you know, these have been dark times, but thousands of heroes like you have stepped up to, to share your light. Um, we've cried so much. But those, those tears connected us and they turned us from, from strangers into allies and from allies into friends and friends into family. Uh, so many men joined the Women's March. So many Christians and Jews rushed to the airports to protest the Muslim ban. So many people of all colors filled the streets to say Black Lives Matter. We've showed up for each other in powerful ways. And we learned skills. We weaponized our love and became powerful agents of positive change. We not only woke up new voters, we also grew into a national army of super volunteers and organizers where there was none before. If we win this election, what was the resistance will become the movement. And we will continue to push America forward in ways we never could have before. So uh, maybe we always had the seeds of heaven in our hands and maybe it just took the heat of hell to crack them open and a whole lot of our tears to water them. And it took an endless march to find some fertile ground. <laughs> but <laughs> that ground is now seven days away. These are the most important seven days of our last four years. Let's make every minute count because there's nothing I've looked forward to more than crying with all of you when we win. <laughs> Whether it's uh, next Tuesday or a couple weeks later, but we all know I'm gonna be crying the whole time. That's the one thing I can guarantee. <sighs> so let's do it, let's do it. Seven days away, let's get to the promised land. Thank you all so much. I love you for everything that you, you've done and continue to do. Let's go. Let's do this. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>